It's my birthday, brother. <laughs> I thought you could sing for him. Amen. Okay, Brother Bill. I love that man singing. Don't y'all? I told him, bring that guitar every time he comes now. Amen. Praise God. Brother Shelton, let's do the key of elf. And we'll do it all. Welcome home, my child.
Brother and Sister Wilson, it's good to see y'all. How was Friday for y'all? Good Friday? All right, a good Friday. Amen. All right, now look, I'm going to get out of the way tonight. I'm going to ask my dear friend and brother, Pastor Dr. Mike Simon, to come up here and minister tonight. And um, you can see some miracles. If you want a miracle, you get the right place. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. I want one tonight. You know, I praise the Lord every day for getting me up. I talk to my body every day. How many speaks to your body? Do you, do you ever speak to it? I do. I do mine every day. My left side, my brain, amen. My memory, my reflexes, amen. I talk to it every day, and I tell my body to line up to the Word of God. Amen. Praise God, because I want to be what God wants me to be in this last day, don't you? Amen. amen. I'll tell you tonight, you know there's power in your words. Yes. How many knows there are? Yes. How many knows there's power in your words? So speak to it, folks. Let's all stand. Praise God for the next little while. Brother Simons is coming right now. Come on, Brother Simons, and get this microphone, and you obey God. Somebody say, obey God, Brother Simons. Obey God, Brother Simons. Amen. Happy birthday, my dear friend. Oh, I tell you what, I, I'm glad to be here, uh, to be able to stop in tonight and, and yes. say happy birthday. You may be seated tonight at, in the presence of the Lord, but to, to say happy birthday to my dear friend. Thank you, Brother Simons. Pastor. Uh, <clears throat> Jerry Lambert. Thank you, Brother Sal. Uh, the Healing Center here. Yes. Uh, I, I made a special trip here yes, did. tonight just to be able to say happy birthday. Thank you, man. Uh, Thank you. I tell you what, I've known Brother Lambert for many years. Uh, our acquaintance uh, started back in the beginning of my ministry. Yes. And uh, I, I tell the story usually every time I'm around it, but in 1973, uh -huh. uh, uh, excuse me, 72, yeah. I preached uh, for Brother Lambert when yes. I went out full time in the ministry. Uh, I don't know, when I when I <clears> left <throat> my job, packed everything I had in my car, and said, "Yeah, I'm gonna reach the world for Jesus." Yes. Amen. And I started out at, at a church he was pastoring and. And I, and I preached for him on Saturday and Sunday night yes. in 1972. Yeah. And uh, we've remained very good friends ever since then. Since then. I've preached yes. for him. He's preached for me yes. at, at various times. And, and uh, we've just seen a lot of things happen yes, over we have. the years. And, but tell uh, tell I'll tell you what, it's amazing <laughs> that... You can uh, find someone you can stay friends with that long. That's right. <laughs> it's difficult hey, for people sometimes. But, uh, and I don't think that in all the years we've been friends, we've ever had a crossword. No. We I can't ever, ever, I can't ever remember no, an sir. argument. No, I can't sir. ever remember no, a crossword. We just didn't do it. Uh, most times we're either having fun laughing about something uh -huh. that's or, true. or we're... Or we're Preaching each other. Yeah. And Amen. most of the time, that's, that's what we're do. doing. Is, is, that's right. Is we'll be talking about scripture, talking about the right. word, talking about what's going on in the, the work of God, the kingdom yes. of God. And, and so I am just really thrilled Thank you, that I can come by tonight yes, and uh, on your 73rd. Third. Uh, I don't know how you, you can be 73 I know. years of age because I, I couldn't be that old. You <laughs> couldn't be that old. That's right. For me. Amen. And I'm younger than you. Here you are. But it means I'm having an age too. But uh, so, but I tell you what, you're looking good. Thank you. Didn't he sing a little while ago? Amen. I'll tell you what, Thank singing you. and preaching, and, and uh, that's what I want to do when I get his age. I want to still be preaching, singing. Yes. And, and ministry and doing work for God. Yes. And uh, that's what he's Amen. doing. Glory. I just appreciate that. Hallelujah. Somebody say praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Somebody praise say Jesus. hallelujah. Hallelujah. And uh, so I'm just excited to come and say happy birthday tonight to my dear friend. And he asked me what, what I told him I was going to come and see him for his birthday. Yeah. And I got a little time to take him out to, to get a bite to eat at yeah. his favorite restaurant. I mean, the Split Door Cafe. Yes, sir. And, uh, Amen. Sometimes I call him and he's there with Brother Shepherd eating with yeah. somebody <laughs> at the Split Door <laughs> Cafe. Amen. And it always upsets me because I'm too far away. And I said, well, I'll be over there in a minute. <laughs> but it'd take me too long to get there. Yeah. Several hours. But uh, so we, we uh, were there and got to have a meal together. 
uh, yes. for uh, the, his birthday today. Yes. And I'm just so happy about that. Yes. But uh, what God's done for him Come on. to bring him through so yes. much. Yes, he has. So many things that the enemy has tried to, to, to knock him down. Amen. But I like to see a man that gets back up. Hey, come on. Anybody like to see somebody get back yeah. up? Yeah, amen. I said it's one thing to get knocked down, but it's another thing to get back up. Yeah. And the Bible says, though a righteous man yeah. falls seven times, yeah. God will pick him back up again. Amen. Somebody hey. said, praise the Lord. Praise God. Oh, yes, I believe that. Yes. And amen. so uh, I'm just excited what God's done. And raising him back up. Yes. Uh, when he went through the heart attacks, yes. I watched God raise him back up. When he went through the strokes, I watched yeah. God raise him back up. Yes. God has just been so good to yes. my friend, yes, he has. Pastor Langford. I'm so glad to about to that. Me. So if you, I was coming by tonight. Yeah. Today to yes. to uh, wish him a happy birthday and spend a few moments of fellowship with him and. Uh, you know, I, I mentioned earlier, the first two nights I preached out full-time in the ministry. I had preached before that, the first time full-time after leaving my job, going out full-time. I had one place, you imagine, one place to preach. One place. And that was at Brother Lambert, Pastor Jerry Lambert's yes. church. He was pastor. Thank God I had some connections. Yeah, I preaching connections. in Cleveland, Texas. And then, when uh, I got to be preaching for him on that Sunday night, they were going to a camp meeting in, in Louisiana. Uh-huh. And Come on. Uh, Come I didn't on. have anything else to do. <laughs> so uh, I just fell in go along. So I yeah. went over to the camp meeting in Louisiana. Next thing you know, Brother Lambert introduces me to some people, opens the door to get me up on the yes. stage to sing. Yes, and sure next thing you know, God just opens doors. My and, God. And I've been preaching now all these years. My God. Full time. Yes, amen. When I say full Praise time. Praise God. I mean full time. Full time. I mean, sometimes amen. I preach six, seven nights a week. Yes. And uh, have uh, traveled the world. Yes. I've preached, yeah. I've preached thousands of hours of television and radio uh, yes. to, to millions of people. And yes, you uh, have. it all started, though, with two nights. All right. And willing to trust God yeah. that he was going to make yeah. a way. Make a way. And that he would uh, do what was needed. And so Brother Lambert played a, a great uh, part in introducing me to a, a ministers at that time. And I, I've never forgot that. Thank you know, I've always believed the scripture. It says in the book of Proverbs that a, a friend. Uh, everybody say a friend. A friend. Come on, everybody say a friend. A friend. Love him. Love him. At all times. At all times. If I say a friend, a friend, love, love it at all times. Yes, he does. Now I don't need, Glory. I don't need fair weather friends. No, sir. Up and down. I mean, a lot of people have fair weather friends. As long as the weather's good, as long as everything's going yeah. good, they're your friend. They're your friend. But when things get tough, come on. Times get rough. Yeah. They're nowhere to be found. Nowhere to be found. That's what so we're talking about. We're almost at Easter. Uh, this is Good Friday. And, Resurrection morning. Yes. You know, but if you go back and read the story, Jesus didn't have anyone. That's right. That really wanted to show up at the at, the, at the trials, That's at, true. The, at the crucifixion. That's true. And uh, you know, uh, they had to take a stranger to help him carry the cross. Yep. And yeah. and so uh, Jesus, a lot of people that were supposed to be his friends. Uh huh. They forsook him. They didn't stand with him. They didn't stay with him when the, when the times got hard. But I admire people who stand with someone even when times are difficult, even when it gets rough, even yes. when the storm is raging. Amen. <laughs> and so I've always kind of uh, been, you know, uh, the, of the mindset that if I'm someone's friend, I'm going to be their friend no matter what's going on. It was a friend, love at, at all, all times. And the Bible says a brother yeah. is born for the day of adversity. That's it. That's what the Word says. I mean, I don't need a brother when everything's going good as much right. as I do when adversity becomes hey, two. Come on. Two become come on. better than one. Come on. And a three-fold card is not easily broken. That's it. And so that's when you really need a brother to come, come along beside you right. and, and to 
to stand with you is in adversity. And so I just thank God that, that uh, Brother Lambert has, uh, has been a friend through these years. And I've been able to be a friend to him through these years. Yes, exactly. And, uh, and I've, I've been excited about these five acres out here. Yes. And this land and the buildings and what's going on and how God's blessing. Yes. All these wonderful people that are standing with this ministry. I want to tell you, God's smiling on you. Amen. God is smiling on you. And so thank you so much for all that you do to make the healing center uh, what it is and to, to undergird and hold up the hands of Pastor Jerry Lambert and to, to be a partner with him. That is very, very important. You know, yes. Moses was anointed of God, but he still needed an Aaron and yes. he needed an Ur. Somebody yes. to hold his hands up. Amen. And, and, and he needed a Joshua. Yes. Somebody would go out and, and, and do what needed to be done. So, thank God for friends. Thank Everybody look at somebody next to you and say, thank God for friends. Thank God for friends. Thank God for friends. And tonight, it's we've come here to celebrate uh, his birthday tonight because we're his friends. Is that right? Amen. Yeah. Look at somebody small saying because we're his friends. Amen. 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 And so it's one thing to be in someone, you know, have to say, well, that's my pastor, yeah. or that's the man of God. But it's another thing to be able to say, that's my friend. That's my friend. That's my friend. And, uh, you know, there, there was something about the way God dealt with Abraham. Yeah. He called Abraham his friend. Friend. Amen. Amen. And so today we need to desire to be a friend of God. Oh, glory. Yeah. Yes. Not, not just somebody who uh, calls on him when we need him, but that's right. somebody that, that, that God can say, that's my friend. That's my friend. And my friends are always love me. My yes, friends are going to always be with always. me. My always. friends never going to leave me. Never. Nor forsake me. Never. And that's the wonderful thing about having God as your friend. That's it. Never he me. will never leave you. No. He will never forsake you. Come on. He will go with you. Yeah. All the way. All the way. No matter where you're going in life. Whether Come it's on. through the valley of the shadow of death. Yeah. Or whether it's in the fire or whether it's in the lion's den or whether it's in a ship sailing for Rome uh, that, that, that sinks in the middle of the ocean and, and it seems like all hope is gone. God is there God, with you. He God, never, God, never, God. never will leave you. On, he never will forsake you. He Amen. will go with you always, Amen. even Amen. to the end. Yes, I have a little Come teaching on. that I do. And it's, uh, it's, it's, it's actually uh, being emailed out right now to all of our friends and people who have connected with our ministry. And uh, you can do that anytime by going to MikeSimons.com. Yes. Fill out a prayer request thing to say I want to be connected. And, right, and, and, yeah. and you'll start getting those e-blasts and devotions that I'm sending out. I wrote a, a little uh, devotion, 31 Days to Increase Your Faith. Yes. Man. You know, the Bible says that the disciples said, Lord, increase our faith. Yeah, increase you know, faith can grow. Yes, it can. Everybody say faith can grow. Faith can grow. And the same faith that can grow can go. Hey, In other words, you, 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 can, you can wind up with no faith. Right. Because Jesus looked at his disciples and says, how is it that you have no faith? No faith. Mm -hmm. Your faith is supposed to be growing. Yeah. Why is it you're acting as if you have no faith? No faith. And, and so there's something about increasing your faith. There's something about believing God every day. Everybody say, believing God every day. Believing God every day. Believing God every day. And, and as we believe God every day, every day, our faith can increase. Yes. And it can grow and grow. And it can, you can go from no faith to little faith yeah. to, to great faith. Right. Amen. To the place where nothing is impossible. Amen. Somebody shout hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. And, and there's something about. But I tell people if I can just get you to believe that one thing, just if I can get you to believe that he will never leave you, that's it. He will never forsake you. If I can get you to just believe that he can't lie. If you can just believe that God cannot lie. And if you believe he will never leave you nor forsake. And if you believe that he watches over oh. his word, watches over his word, that's what the Bible says, yes, to perform it. To perform it. God watches over his word to perform it. That's good. 
of us. And if you can believe that, yes, yes. if you can, if you can really yeah. believe that, yes, Amen. then you can. Then, then all you have to do is find out what does His Word say. Yeah, come on. Yeah. Well, then He can't lie, come and on. He's not going to change. He's not going to leave. Right. Then all I got to do is find out what His Word says. That's it, my son. So tonight. If you're going through something in your life, if it's a financial difficulty, then find out what God's Word says about That's your finances. Right there. Somebody says, well, I don't believe God's in, even involved in money, and I don't believe God even cares about your finances. And, well, that shows you've never read your Bible. Oh. 2,000 and some odd times, God deals with people and their finances. That's right. God takes pleasure, great pleasure in your prosperity. Yes, Somebody says, oh, you must be one of those prosperity preachers. Well, well. Well, I'm guilty. You know yeah. why? Because it's better to be a poverty preacher. Because hey, hey. I've asked a few times, does anybody want to get in a line over here and I'll pray for you to have poverty and I haven't got anybody to get the line yet? No, nobody wants that line. Somebody said, oh, well, I believe that, you know, you, 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 you don't need to, pr to, to preach prosperity because, you know, uh, somebody yeah. may think they can be rich or whatever. And then you go out and work 40 hours, 80 hours a week, 100 hours a week, try to get money. Yeah. But if you really believe in poverty, then why don't you take your whole paycheck this month and just give it all away and then tell your, the mortgage company or tell your bank that you believe in poverty now and so therefore you're giving all of your money away because you don't believe in prosperity wow. and you just let them come take everything you got away wow. and then you live on the street in a cardboard box. Yeah. Because that's what poverty is. Yeah. I've been to third world countries yeah. and I've seen what that the curse of it. The God, curse of poverty. If you're not Somebody said, oh, but 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 Dr. Simons, Pastor Simons, what, what about what about what God says in his word that the love of money the is love. the root of all evil? Love. Exactly. Love. That's exactly what it says. Love. It doesn't say money is the root of all evil. Love. It says the love of money is the root of all evil. Amen. But yet money is what puts food in your mouth. Yes, it does. That's not evil, is it? Money is what buys you clothes that you're wearing. That's not evil. Money gives you a house to live in. That's not evil. Money helps you with medical expenses. That's not evil. Money is the thing that builds orphanages and hospitals and, and money builds schools and, and, and educates people. And money build, uh, starts businesses and helps them to hire people. And, and that's not evil. No. But the love of money. Love it. Now, when you start loving it, that means that you start trusting it. Yeah. And the Bible says, "Don't trust in uncertain riches." That's right. Because it'll take wings like a bird and fly away. Fly away. Yes, it will. And when you love money, and when you are in love with money, then money will begin to rule over you. Yes, it will. Instead of you ruling over it. That's it. God doesn't mind you having a lot of money. Just right. so you're the one that's still yeah. in control of the money, yeah. and the money's not in control of you. That's so it. you that's ought to always be willing to give, the Bible says, unto every good work, yeah. and, and have no problem whatsoever sowing the seed Amen. of faith as you need. Right. And so that's if you have a problem tonight and, 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 and need a financial breakthrough, then let's go back to what I said. God will not lie. That's and right. God watches God over His work and perform it. And God will never leave you nor forsake you. Amen. So God can help you. Yes. And there are, there are things you can learn from the Word of God yes. that will help you to prosper. Yes. Somebody said, well, what would that be? Well, let me just give you one example. Yeah. Can, I give, can, sure. can I preach this a little bit? Yes. I'm hoping somebody else can do it. Right. Uh, so we can yeah. have more people yeah. eat cake. In yeah. But, Thank so, what, let me give you one example. Anybody want one example? Yeah. The Bible says as long as Uzziah sought the Lord, the Lord. God made him to prosper. He did. So, right there is a, a secret, a key in being able to open the door to the Amen. treasure house Amen. of financial prosperity is seeking the Lord. Amen. The Bible says, seek ye first the kingdom, the kingdom. of God yeah. and his righteousness and all these Things he will ask you. Is that right? Yeah. Somebody said that's right. That's, that's right. right. Somebody said that's right. That's right. Okay, so if you seek the kingdom of God, the Bible says if you put it first, then these are these are ways for you to get into 
finding ways that, that and, and God will begin to give you inspired ideas and concepts and He'll begin to give you business ideas and, or He'll give you that right job or He'll be the raise on that job. He'll give you the bonus. He'll make you be preferred over something else or someone uh, uh, other than you and He'll give you favor in everything you do. And next thing you know, that will equate into your financial supernatural increase that God can give you. Now, I've said enough about that, but the reason I said that is because the writer said in 3 John 2, Beloved, I wish above all things that thou mayest prosper. So there are ways that you can take care of that by just believing the word of God. And then he says, and that you be in hell. How many believe that God wants you sick tonight? Anybody want to believe God, God wants you sick tonight? I had a lady one time that came in, and I've had it more than once, but, but this one particular lady came in my life, and she wanted me to, uh, to, to, she said she wanted me to pray for her, but and, 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 and she had a tumor, and, and she said, but I believe God gave it to me to teach me some things. And I said, okay, you believe God gave you the tumor to teach you some things, and now you want me to pray for God to take it away. Well, why would I stop your education? What if you haven't learned everything you need to learn yet? In fact, if that's teaching you something that God wants you to know, then I tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to pray for God to give you two of them. She looked at me and said, don't you lay your hand on me. <laughs> she didn't. She didn't. <laughs> she didn't want to learn anymore. And I said, well, that's about how ridiculous to believe that God gave you a tumor. Mm -hmm. How many believe God's your heavenly father? You believe he's your heavenly father? You believe that you believe that God made everything that was made? There was nothing made except that was God made. You believe that by giving your life to Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, God manifested in the flesh, the image of the invisible God. Do you believe the saint of the world when he came into your heart and your life and became your Lord and Savior? Do you believe that he wants to give you sickness and disease and infirmity. How many of y'all have children in here? Anybody? Anybody have children? You have little children, big children, grown children, grandchildren? How, do you love them? Do y'all love your children? Do you love your grandchildren? Do you love them? Would you go give them a tumor? Would you go give them sickness or disease? Would you go give them problems in their health? I don't believe so. I wouldn't, would you? How many of us want good things for our kids? Amen. You want yeah. good things for your yes. kids? How many want your kids to be well? Yeah. Well, if you believe God gave you the sickness, if you believe God gave you the sickness, then why are you taking medicine for it? Right. It's amazing to me. People tell me that God's teaching me something through this illness, and at the same time, they're pulling out 10 bottles of pills right. and taking it, trying to, to, to get over the sickness yeah. and to deal with the sickness. God's trying to teach why, why don't you just leave, leave, leave along with it? Let yeah. it teach you something. Say God's good. Hello. All right. Somebody say hello. Amen. And I look at somebody and say hello. Hello. First of all, the Bible says, I am the Lord thy God that healeth me. Yes. And he said, I take away all your infirmity. Amen. The writer Isaiah said he was wounded for our transgression. Yeah. Bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was laid on him. And by oh, his God. stripes we are. First Peter 2 24 says, By his stripes we were. Were yeah. healed. Yes. Is that right? Amen. I'm persuaded to believe that the I'm church does not really believe that. All right. That's good teaching. And we make excuses. Come on. And the excuses don't measure up to the Word of God. And, and so we need to quit making excuses. And, just, and, and, and really, the church just, is, just needs to admit that we don't believe in doing what we need to do to believe God. For healing in the church today. Come on. And, 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 and so it was very, because if you believe God is who He says He is, all right. and will do what He said He can do, and He won't lie, then He's able to heal. Amen? Yeah. Amen. Now, there are times we'll bear affliction or bear infirmity as our body, but the Bible says many of the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivered Him out of them all. What and even saying? in the affliction, I'm still going to give glory to God yeah. and not. To the devil, Amen. I'm not going to give glory to the sickness. Amen. I'm going to give glory to God and say, even in this, even in this, I am more than a conqueror. Yes, sir. 
And I'm still on top. Amen. And not the sickness. Come on. And not the disease. That's good. And not the infirmity. Amen. It's not ruling over me. That's it. In Jesus' name. Now, Jesus. I'm not going to, I, 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 made, I made a promise to myself. We've got a long ride tonight. Yeah. Uh, I've got, I made a promise I would not preach three hours. <laughs> so I'm going to go preach two and i got an hour and a half left. So All right. <laughs> I hear you. I, I'm, just, I'm just playing, y'all. Settle down. Okay? <laughs> Settle down. I'm bringing it to a close. All right? Texas. Little boy, little boy looked at his mom one day at the preacher said, I'm bringing it to a close. And, and the little boy said, Mom, what, what does that mean? And she looked up at looked down at the son and said, that means absolutely nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. It means absolutely nothing. So, so I, he said, I would that you're prosper. Everybody yeah, said prosper. Prosper. Uh, yeah. I would that you be in health. Everybody say be in health. In health. Yeah. The Bible even says, let us say continually, let the Lord be magnified who takes pleasure, takes pleasure. in the prosperity yes. of his servants. Yes. God takes pleasure. Yeah. The Bible said, Jesus says that. The writer in Isaiah said he was wounded by our transgressions. Yes. Bruised by our yes. Chastisement of our peace was laid on him. By his stripes we are healed. We were healed. Yes. Thank you, Lord. And Jesus said that Mark 11, 24, what sort of things you desire, when you pray, believe that you receive them, and you shall have them. James 5, 14 says that to be the sick among you, let them anoint the wall. Pray the prayer of faith. The prayer of faith to save the sick, the Lord will raise the blood. If they commit any sin, it will be forgiven. Yes, so that's that's what that's what the Word says. So we just believe the Word. Yes. And, and it's amazing how we'll believe the doctor, but we won't believe the Word. Right. We'll believe our next door neighbor that doesn't know anything, but we won't believe the Word. Right. We'll believe some 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 even preacher that that's that's never studied the Word of God concerning healing. And listen, yeah. all, and, and yet we won't believe the word of God. All right. We'll, we'll believe the word. So he said, I would that you prosper. I would that you be in hell. Yeah. But then here's what the key is. There's the key. Here's the key. Even, Even as your soul prospers. Prosper. Yes. <clears throat> now, all this is connected. Yes, it is. The financial prosperity, the healing, all this is connected. To what's going on in your soul. In your soul. That's it right there. Where are you tonight with God Come on. in your soul? In your soul. My God. Yep. Where are you at? Yep. And so the Bible says that, that we need to be washed uh -huh. wow. by the regeneration of the Word yes. and, and not conform to this world, but transform by the renewing of our mind. So our soul. Needs to be constantly fed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. My wife and I were praying the other day, and we got to breaking through in some real intensive prayer. We were in a time of fasting, seeking God, and praying just, just this week. First three days of this week, we, we, we dedicated with nothing but fasting and prayer and seeking God. My wife and I were praying together, and, and this week the Lord spoke to, to my, our spirit, and I began to share with her some things that, that, that God was speaking to me through some things, and 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 it it was you know we sh we we need to not give up we need to double up all right amen amen in other words don't when you got if you're dealing with financial difficulties don't don't quit praying don't stop reading the word of God don't right. stop getting your mind renewed that's when you need to get into the word and, and, and double up amen. and start praying even more if you're going through a sickness a disease or infirmity don't don't give up in 2005 I was. I was going through a time of an illness and infirmity struck my body and, and, it, and it literally uh, tried to, to kill me and, for, and, and I was out of the pulpit for yeah. uh, five months, knocked out of condition, couldn't, couldn't do anything. And all that time I was, I knew the doctors couldn't help me, right. but I knew if my help could only come from the Lord. Amen. I turned off the TV, I turned off the radio, I yeah. turned off everything. And, and, and Brother Leonard, you know you came to see yeah. me during that time. I wouldn't, I wouldn't watch anything, wouldn't hear anything, except the Word of God. Word of God. Because I knew I had to double up. I had to, yeah. I had to put the Word of God in my mind, in my yeah. heart. I put it in front of my eyes and put it in my ears. And I had to, to eat on it every day. Yeah. Because man shall not live by bread alone. Right. But by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God. God is good. So tonight I know that I've been asked to pray for anyone tonight that needs yes. 
healing in your body or you need a miracle tonight. And I'm gonna I'm gonna be doing that right now. But I want to I wanted you to understand the basis yeah. of where I stand yes. in believing that God can touch you tonight. Yes. I was in some meetings a few months back and I watched God as he took a woman that flew her and her husband into Austin, Texas, and the woman was deaf in both ears, had one percent born with one percent hearing, just totally deaf, basically it. And, and her husband was a financial advisor from New York, and they worked in the financial uh, institution, had owned the financial institution there in New York. They were in Austin, heard somebody talking about miracles, and the, and the man said, where's this happening at? And, the, and someone told them where the meeting was going on, and they came to my meeting. And that night, the woman was totally healed. Her deaf ears were open right there in that service. As I commanded her ears to open, they were open. Yes. There was a lady that flew in from Chicago that was dying in, a few weeks earlier, almost dying of sugar diabetes, and her sugar level was just out, out, out of the charts. And she came into, that, into Austin after she got out of the hospital and was still very sick. God touched her. Yes. And, 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 and I, I never met her before. I told her, I said, tonight you, you're... Dealing with sugar diabetes and God's about to heal you of that. I didn't, and, yes. and I didn't, didn't even know anything about her, Jesus. but God revealed it, and I just yes. said in Jesus' name, she was healed of her sugar diabetes. Yes. Sugar levels went back to normal. She went back to Chicago totally well. Thank you, Lord. Lord. Yes. And, and so yeah. during that meeting, I, I mean, these wonderful miracles that were happening. At the same time, I was at a meeting in another city where I watched a man's arm. 30 years ago, before they had taken out four inches of his bone because yeah. of his disease. And they put in metal plates and metal stuff, and, and, and he was standing to me. And I said, Tonight God's going to do supernatural signs and wonders, and I'm not even going to have to lay my hand on, on some of you. And God's going to do something extraordinary, outstanding. And the man was standing there at the back of the, of the church while I was praying for other people, and all of a sudden, his arm that was shorter than the other one. His arm that was had lost four inches of bone uh -huh. 30 years before because doctors took it out. Yeah, think about it. Just immediately grew out. My, totally my, my. evil with the other. Praise God. Lord. Totally evil with the other. Glory. Glory to God. Yes. God is still a miracle worker. God said. God is still a miracle worker. Amen. 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 Had another Amen. man that came into one of my meetings in Dallas, Texas, and his arm. He had fallen off in 2010 off of a wall on the scene end, and it had busted his elbow and all the bones and they put it back together and put titanium in there, but he lost all movement of his of his of his elbow. Couldn't, couldn't move, couldn't move his elbow. His arm was about that much shorter than the other one. I stepped back and commanded his arm to be healed in the name of Jesus. And witnesses and everyone in that auditorium stood and watched as his arm grew yes, out. I As I had him standing like this with both arms out and his arm grew out even with the other. Thank you, Lord. And he all of a sudden Thank you, told Jesus. Perfect yes. movement. Amen. Oh, Lord. Amen. Glory. I don't know about Hallelujah. you. I don't know about you, but I believe in miracles. Hey, yes. And I believe in miracles because oh, I believe God. in God. And he Amen. said, I'm the same yesterday, the same today, the same forever. He never changed. He never changed. I say God. never change. Never change. Never change. I say never, never change. change. Never change. Now I don't know how many of you want me to pray with you right now, but I want to pray with you, and I guess I can walk out. Yes, I want the first one that goes miracle to walk through. My, 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 glory. Come on, praise the Lord. Glory to God. Hallelujah. What is your condition? What do you want God to do for you? Okay. Mm, my God. Sit down in the chair. Go to the side. Glory to God. Hallelujah to God. Do you believe God's about to heal you? Yes. Sit your hands up to Him. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> now, Heavenly Father, I thank, thank you tonight. You. Yes. It's your word, not my word. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Lord, I don't have to watch thank over God for me. You watch over God for me. God. So I pray for this new lady tonight. My, my, I pray my. that, Lord, you would touch her back, her hips, her legs. Yes. And right now, that the pain would be full. Shut mm. up. I'm sorry. My, my, my. That yes. the pain would begin to leave. Yes. Right now. God, and that, Lord, you would begin to restore right now her health. And it'll spring for speedily. Jesus, now. Now, pray, God. Jesus, Jesus. Now. Hey. 
Now. Now. Oh, God, thank you. God, yes. I thank you. I thank, thank you, Lord. Lord. It's going through your right yes. name. Oh, dear Lord. I oh, God. Feel Lord. I feel it right now. Yes, God. Oh, praise God. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, God. Yes, God. Yes, God. Yes, God. Yes, God. Stand up real quick. Stand up real quick. Now, yes. there's something you couldn't do before. Chest out. See if you can check your back out. Check your, check your hips out. Glory yes. to God. Glory. Hallelujah. What's going on? Oh, I feel better. Glory to God. All right. God. Go on. Glory. And you felt it. I yeah. saw it. Glory. Yeah. I saw it. Yeah. Glory. Tell somebody the Lord just healed me. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Come on. Hallelujah. Come on. Hallelujah. How you doing? Glory to God. And, and, and what's your condition? What do you want God to do for you? Right, I understand, okay? And so what do you want God to do about that? Uh, okay, uh, sit down a minute. Lord, hey, man. Lord. Thank you, Lord. Lord. Somebody said, well, what do you have to ask a question like that for? Well, the reason is I've learned when you study the life of Jesus, he's the great, he's the greatest teacher and mentor there is. Do you uh -huh. agree? Amen. Okay, I, I mean, I know there's a lot of preachers who go around, they got big signs, big names and all, but that's not my who, who I am, am focusing on and, and mentor, is mentoring me. It's Jesus himself. And Jesus asked a blind man, what did he ask the blind man? What, listen to me, please, quickly, listen to me. What did he ask the blind man? All right. Did he ask the blind man? See, I don't waste time praying for people that are not going to heal, that are not going to exercise faith. Right. Okay? Some people I tell them, this, don't say I'm not, you're not ready for me to pray for. Come on. And, and, and so... This is a very focused moment, okay? Jesus, my God. And, and, and so Jesus, what Jesus asked the blind man, yeah. he said, what do you want me to do for you? Well, the man was blind. That's right. Mm -hmm. Why do you got to ask a blind man, what do you want me to do for him? You uh -huh. think he wants his eyes open. Yeah. <laughs> well, he could have wanted something else. Yeah. Good. And Jesus asked him, what do you want me to do? Good. Because it's not what I want for you. It's what is. What do you want? You want. What are you That's believing it. for? My God. And, and the Bible said, the man said, Lord, that I might receive my sight. My Would you believe I was in a service one time? Mm -hmm. Sherry, when I was in a service, this is, I was praying, and I said, tonight, anything you ask, and there's a certain time in services that, yeah. that the special it's anointing comes. And I said, tonight, everything that you, each person that asks, ask in faith, nothing wavering, ask according to the will of God, know the scripture, don't ask for some, some ridiculous thing that, that's not even scriptural. And, 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 you know, you're not really believing anyway. You don't, you don't, but ask for something God specifically has said that you can have. And so here, uh, I said, you can have it tonight. Man comes up there, it's blind, and he's standing there, he's as blind as can be. Uh -huh. Blind as can be. You know what I'm talking about. Yeah. And I asked him, I said, what do you want God to do for you? He said, I need a new house. <laughs> I said, you need a new house? Uh, he said, yes. I said, well, no, that, that's not, you don't understand. I said, you can have whatever you're asking. <coughs> yeah. Thank now, what do you want? He said, I want a new house. <laughs> I said, no, the third time. You don't, and I looked at the audience. I said, I don't believe he understands what I'm saying. So I'm going to ask him again. What do you want God to give you? Uh, man. I want a new house. My God. And I said, okay. He could have asked for his eyes to be open. He could have seen tonight. Yeah, he could have. But instead, he asked for a house, saw a house he'll get. And I laid my hand on him, and I said, Lord, give this man a house. Yeah. Because that's what he's asked for. Yeah. In two weeks' time, someone gave him a new home. Think about it. You're to live in. Yeah. Come on. But he walked around and it blind. blind. My God. Does anybody understand what I'm saying? My God, God have mercy. See? See, so, you know, and sometimes people have been prayed for by so many people. Yep. And, they, and they say, well, I've been, I've been, yeah. I've been coming my lines. Oh, yeah, well, Pastor Lambert, I've been yeah. coming my lines and say, I, and when they get up to me, they tell me, I've been prayed for by the best. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And, and they start not, naming everybody's prayer. Yeah, for. right. And they say, and I ain't got healed yet. And I say, yeah. well, what in the world are you doing up in my line? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you never told me you got prayed for That's by the it. best, and I'm not the best. So you, what are you even doing up here? Yeah. And, and, and so it's important that you understand how to focus yes. your faith. And how yes, to, it is. You know, some, and there's times I've done it, I won't even pray for everybody. Right. And, and tonight I'm praying for those who want to be prayed for, please, yes. little. But there's times I'll say, no. And, and there's times that great men of God, yes. I know, that they won't, they'll come in and want, they won't even pray for sin until they preach two weeks. That's true. I know that's right. 
I've had meetings that lasted 10 months, 6 months, oh, yeah. a year. And so I said, how, why in the world would a meeting need to last that long? Well, we have revival in heaven on a Sunday. I said, you don't have revival. You have a no. special speaker. That's right. And you have a good time and you enjoy yeah. the blessing of God in that service. But if people really want to learn how to have faith and want to get in the atmosphere of miracles, it takes more than one night. Right. Yes, it does. It takes more than one day. Yes, it does. And, and somebody said, well, I am not willing to do that. No, but you're willing to go take chemotherapy every, every week, yeah. every day. Come on. Come you're willing to go sit on dialysis for four hours a day for yeah. three days yeah. out of a week, and yet you won't come sit in service for two hours. It's too long. Right. I know. I have people come to my service saying, you pray for me before the service because I need to go home. I, 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 I'm i not feeling well, and, uh -huh. and, and I don't I don't need to sit here in the service. I look at them and say, no, I won't pray for you. Right. I won't pray for you. God tells me to pray for you. That's it, brother. Because until the Holy Spirit and the power of God, that the, the, the anointing that moves and the presence of God that comes upon me, if it's not there, there's no sense to be praying for us. Amen. Amen. And, and they get mad sometimes. They get upset. They get mad. And I say, well, you know, you, I'm sorry, but, you know, you go to the doctor and you sit there and you go all day long. Oh, God is the doctor. doctor and you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Now, sir, we'll pray for you right now. Father. I don't pray your faith increases tonight. Yes, Lord. Did you reach out and grab hold of the power of God and work the work of God tonight? Now, Lord, I know that this man has had his bladder uh, removed. Uh, he, he needs a supernatural creative miracle. And I know that you do create miracles. I see them happen in our needs and in the name of Jesus. And Lord, I ask you tonight to have mercy upon this man. Oh, God, I ask you to faith. Reach out right now. My Lord, and let him receive my, by faith, my God, according to his faith. Yes. So be it. Oh God, in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Well, thank you, Lord. Yes, Lord. Lord. I thank you for amen. Amen. And amen. Amen. In fact, amen. In fact, not only that, but Lord, let his help begin to return. Yes. Amen. Lord, yes. Amen. He needs some strength. Yeah, come on. Yeah. 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 Now let me, let me teach you something right quick. There are times you have faith yeah. for healing. Where your faith is not at the level for a what we call a mighty work. Right. You remember Jesus going into Nazareth yes, and he only healed a few sick folk. Right. And but he did no mighty works. No mighty works. Because of their unbelief. Mm -hmm. And so a lot of times our faith has got to grow and we've got to have yeah. time for it to grow. Yes. And sometimes we've got to get at the level of faith where we're at. Right. Why is it that some of the greatest men of God that operate in the supernatural are going to an auditorium, but yet they'll see one person yeah. and that one person They'll, they'll say, you, you, yeah. And that person will receive an awesome, supernatural right. miracle. Right. There's 10 other people sitting around them. Right. And yeah. they don't receive That's it. right. It's the level of faith, faith and way God is operating in that particular anointing. Yes. Okay? Yes. So, Amen. You, you, right now, we're believing God for your faith to be for that creative miracle. Yes. The creative miracle is starting my, to get grow. Come on. Okay? Now, Come but on. you've been feeling bad. In the sense that you don't have the energy. And the, you, you need some fresh. That's going to help your faith. Yeah. Is that all right? Yeah. Yes, sir. Okay, will that be good? If you get up yeah. in the water, feel better, and you feel like you're feeling better, uh -huh. yeah. and when your face start growing, yes. Okay, lift your hand up to heaven right now. Thank you, Lord. Jesus, Lord. Name, I pray for you, strength. Amen. I pray for you, health. Amen. I pray for healing. Hey, healing, Lord, in His body, Jesus. right now, in the name of Jesus. Lord, hey, wake your Lord. Right. Feeling better than he's ever felt in a long time. Yes, amen. Oh, rise up, my brother. Thank the yes, Lord. Amen. Lord, my God. Are you glad you came tonight? Oh, I thank you. You did too. Amen. You're feeling better now. Amen. Next Glory. Glory. Come, come and praise yes. the Lord. Praise the Lord. Sit here right now. Glory to God. What, what is it you're believing God for? Well, I'm going to stand here. Okay. 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 Yes. 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 I got it. Uh -huh. Okay, so what do you want God to do tonight? He's also got a tumor on his back. A tumor? Okay. Okay. You, you believe God that if we pray here, right here tonight, that God could touch him? Where's he at now? In Arkansas, that God would touch him in Arkansas. Yes. And that, that tumor could get dissolved, yes. disappear. Well, in the name of Jesus, sit down, my brother, right there for a moment. Yes. Yes. Okay, sit down for a moment. 
Father, we receive this, Jesus. these prayer requests. Yes. This man is standing in for this. Yes. These, these loved ones. Yes. And Lord, in Arkansas, in Jesus and name. your God in Arkansas, like your God here. Yes, you are. You're everywhere. Yes, all you are. All places. Yes, you are. And Lord, the Syrophoenician woman Thank came you, to you, Jesus, and, and, and asked for a miracle, and her daughter was in another city. Yes. And at that moment, Man. when wow. she said, I just need a crumb, yes. and Lord, you marvel at her faith, yes. and Lord, yes. and at that same My hour, Lord. in another city, her daughter was delivered from that demonic spirit that mm. she was grievously vexed by. Jesus. So Jesus. in the name of Jesus right now, Jesus. Lord, I pray for this dear brother tonight. God. Yes. And I pray that our faith wow. together will bind together yes. in this Lord. building tonight. Yes. And Lord, that the Holy Spirit of God, the power of the oh, Lord, God, Holy God, Ghost, Jesus, will Thank move in, in yes. that situation in Arkansas. Dissolve that to me. Yes, God, do it tonight. Yes, do it, Lord. And Lord, Lord, God, let that individual believe. Yes. And give God, Lord, give glory to God for the for the healing, the miracle, the dissolving of the tumor. Lord, in Jesus' name. Oh, I thank the Lord. And, and that mental condition, I curse those spirits yes. that have come against that individual's mind. In the name of Jesus, work a deliverance, Lord, tonight in her life. I thank you, Lord. God, we give you more. Somebody yes. give God praise. Yes. 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 Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Oh, thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you. Glory to God. Come on, everybody say thank you, Jesus. Thank, thank you. you. I got a few more people. Glory to God. And we'll be through here. Glory to God. What, what do you need God to do? Okay. A disc? Okay. Wow. Oh, mercy. Long list. You just need to be healed all over. Yes. My you just God, need yes. some things to happen tonight. Amen. And so let's just, just stand where you're at right now. I want to speak to that disc right now. Yes. In the name My of Jesus. God. I speak it, Lord. Lord. Oh, Lord. Hey. In her back. Do it, yes. Lord. They do it, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Jesus. Yeah. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Something's going on. Glory. Something's going on. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, God. Glory to God. Thank you, God. Jesus' name. Yeah, Lord. Yes, Lord. Jesus. Glory! Oh, oh, blessed Jesus. Oh, I speak. Oh, oh, hallelujah. Be lined up right now. Thank you, God. Oh, yes, Lord. Jesus. Right now. Jesus' name. Yes, thank you, Lord. Oh, yes, yes, thank you, Lord. That arm is strong. Yes, thank you, Lord. It's just lined up right there. My Jesus. God. Glory to God. Yeah, Lord. Just right now. Just, just let me see you. Yes. Let me see your legs. This leg's a little bit short. Another problem. In the name of Jesus. Let it grow yeah. out there. Yes. Oh, that's right. perfect. 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 Glory to God. Glory.
Amen. Well, that's it. Tell them the Lord just healed. Yeah, the Lord just healed. He does this. Come on, tell 